years. When I got with my girl, I already had a baby on the way. I didn't want her to know about that, so I couldn't be honest with her from the beginning. My baby mother thinks I live in transitional housing, and I actually been living with this girl for five years because I can't afford for her to put me on child support. The process service could come looking for me at the address that I'm at. We all live in, within like 20 minutes from each other. They can't come to my house <laughs> because I live in transitional housing. Okay, okay, I have okay, structured okay, okay, my okay, okay, Instagram. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Codename name Chanel and I'm back, but clearly I'm back with a reaction video. Now people have been hitting me up, sending me this person. Like, how could I not do a reaction video to someone who claims to be the master finesser when I'm the master finesser? No, I'm just saying, but no, for real. Y'all, I was watching this video and I was like, I have to do a reaction video on it. I just have to. Give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell below because I promise you it's lit. And comment below you guys' thoughts and opinions because this video is... Yeah, he out here finessing y'all. Not me, y'all. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I thought you guys were just randomly sending me, like, a homeless person when you guys were talking about oh check out this master finesser like i'm not even like i promise y'all i i literally thought y'all were just randomly sending me somebody that was homeless and i was like i'm not about to sit here and laugh at nobody that's homeless like what do i look like so when you guys were sending in me it, i was just like whatever i was getting dms i even got an email to me and i was like you know what let me listen let me watch this and to my surprise things got interesting a lot. I can't help it. It's something you do to protect the people you care about. If you don't give a fuck, you would just go sleep with whoever. If you cheat, that's showing that you're taking the steps to protect other people's feelings. I've never been caught. I developed these habits. I would go to the bathroom to take a shower every day when I got home. I didn't really want to take multiple showers in a day, but I know that if I was coming home from cheating, that it was going to be a necessity. I didn't need- I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'd always have a friend and they will help to stretch out my lies. We'll take even some pictures together that might not be on that day and I'll save these pictures and I'll even post them to maybe a Snapchat. I'll block everybody from the story but her so she has like this personalized story. Okay. I've done something. Wait a minute. Like, <laughs> this is sounding a little familiar because I do the same thing. I, act, I have guys on my Snapchat and I post a Snapchat story, but yes, I only post it so that that certain person can see it. And on my close friends, I like, sometimes I'll remove everybody from my close friends and just add my bae and make it seem as if I'm, you know what? I can't even be mad. If I'm mad at him, then I'm mad at myself, okay? Don't hate me, you guys, but I can kind of relate story. I've done some things that have thrown her off. I saved my sister's name and my phone is Beautiful Girl because I knew it would attract her to go through it. And my sister told me about, you know, your girl called me. And so it worked out. So I was able to confront her and say, why would you go through my phone? She said, why do you have her in there as Beautiful Girl? I said, that's just a nickname I've had for her whole life. <laughs> it just made her feel like, wow, like I shouldn't have been going through this phone. I've been with my girl for, for about five. First off, like the pick me's. If y'all are watching this video, this is y'all man's. Get y'all mans. This is y'all mans right here. This is, he's only able to do this because of you guys. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. He is only able to succeed and receiving hairline because of you guys. That's, that's it. He, this is y'all, this y'all mans. Can't nobody tell me to pick me. This is y'all mans years when i got with my girl i already had a baby on the way i didn't want her to know about that so i couldn't be honest with her from the beginning my baby mother thinks i live in transitional housing and i actually been living with this girl for five years because i can't afford for her to put me on child support the process service could come looking for me at the address that i'm at we all live in within like 20 minutes from each other they can't come to my house <laughs> because i live in transitional okay, okay, housing okay, 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 okay. i have structured my instagram this is taking it all back for me. If you are a subscriber of mine, um, you know that I have a story time where I had a sugar daddy that I met off of POF. And um, 
I told him that when I was sugaring, I told him, yes, that I lived in a halfway house so that I, I had a curfew so that he couldn't hang out with me after 10 o'clock. I'm starting to see a lot of similarities between me and the master finesser. And I don't like that. That's what I changed my way. He's still probably this person. Okay, so I know y'all probably watching this video like, Chanel, I'm seeing a lot of similarities. That's not me no more. I'm settled down. I'm rocking with one guy. Corvette, Corvette. How been, <laughs> right? Look, y'all, if y'all ever get into a sticky situation, just break out into a TikTok. Corvette, Corvette, hop in the jet, jet, jet like that. And then when you walk like that, no, let me stop. I'm to attract new women constantly to make myself seem like a ladies man and it works. I started talking to girls and giving them like um, a proposition like help make me popular. Take a picture with me, post it that made it seem like we had more of a relationship than what we really did. You know, it's going to be like a little financial incentive. Of course they didn't get Y'all really like, no, really? No, I, let's talk. Let's talk. Girls have to look a certain way to get a certain thing. Men, like, they don't have to do nothing. Like, he don't even brush his hair. Like, I literally thought this was just a random homeless person on the street. Like, no shade to homeless people because I know y'all are way better than this. But I, I just thought this was just a random bum. Like, I, 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 he, this, this who y'all gonna settle for? In, in my Steve Wilco's voice, this is who y'all gonna settle for? Like, this is, this y'all man's? Like, I, I just can't even believe that y'all would... <laughs> But y'all can't believe that I'm out here and that I do and that I did and I'm doing. But this person right here, like. When I see my male friends go out with a girl and she's pretty, I'll have them send me the video and it'll look like I'm taking that pretty girl out to eat and I'll post that on look, my page this, as well. I'm telling y'all, he put y'all onto a lot of game. Okay, listen, this is why I don't take pictures. This is why you not take, I don't care if I'm in you and your homie section. I don't, y'all not taking pictures of me. Y'all not taking pictures with me. I'm not Bernie's bagels or I, I, I'm the Jada waiters of the world. I'm not getting paid to take no pictures with y'all. I'm not no Instagram model. So what y'all not going to do is take pictures of me. So then y'all could be posting it on y'all close friends or y'all can be posting on your Instagram story. And people think y'all lit because y'all always out with girls and y'all, ah, well, pass me the Moet, pass me the Henny, but don't take no pictures. Sorry, honey child. Don't take no pictures of me. All right? I will be in the, in the section like, well, yeah, 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 yeah. We pay. But as soon as the cameras come on, they start recording the section. I'm turning this way. I, I promise y'all. Ask about me. Ask of ducking. Y'all not. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. I would imagine they're thinking, wow, if he's oh, sitting here and he's getting scam. attention from these really beautiful girls. These women see something in me and you need to come and find out what that is. I have some pictures with my kids on the Instagram. So if it's you're looking for somebody who takes care of his family, it looks like I do oh. more for my kids than what I actually do. And that's okay. what I want to portray. If you're looking for somebody that goes out and has fun and take you out and change your life, I could be me. They don't know until after the fact. On Instagram, I will not let my girl follow me. When I he first got, got with her, we got into an argument nobody... about social media, and I told her, you need to add me right now, Instagram and Facebook, but that's before Instagram. it got really Somebody good, before I started Instagram. doing my stuff. She's like, you know, I'm not going to be your friend. Now she wants to go back on that, but I said, no, you need to stand on what you said all those years ago, and my page is private, so she can't see what's going on. I maybe only sleep with maybe one to two girls at a time, and then I maybe have maybe 10 to 15 girls that I talk to that might be able to get interchanged into that. When I do go to cheat, I I like to take them places where I know that there's not going to be the other girls that I talk to. Movie theaters because it's dark. If I can get away with getting Chick-fil-A and going to the beach, I will because I know I'm I not going to spend over $20, I 30 dollars. Wait a minute. I told y'all. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Because he's putting y'all up on game that my whole channel is based off of. Listen, y'all. The cheap dates. The, oh, you know what? I just want to check the vibe out and I, I just want to go get coffee and bagel. F you and them coffee and bagels because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get a cheap date to see, like, they're trying to see how low your standards are, how bare minimal. The people like him with the receiving hairline and got on that Sean John jacket in his 2021, yeah, watch your back because they will offer you those low quality dates. And ladies, that is why you have to have your, your self-esteem high because only someone with 
very minimum, bare, like teeny, teeny, teeny micro self-esteem will fall for any of these tactics that he is like, I see right through him and his, and, and his hair. Cause there he's balding. So I see right through it, right? The, do not ladies, ladies, come on now. We, it's 2021. We can't be falling for this. $30. Once sex get involved, I can manipulate a lot better. I, I think sex is more of like a tool for like getting to where you want. What could I get from it? Maybe it's a new job. See, but when girls do this, y'all, what are they called? Escorts and prostitutes. He's saying that he's having sex to, he's having sex to better his life. He's having sex to see where he can get up on the, the food chain, basically. So, when women do this, they are known, let's all say it together, escorts and prostitutes. But when he's doing it, he's a finesser. Like, the double standards be really getting on my fucking nerves. How about that? The double standards, I, I can't get jiggy with them. Like, either, either we're going to call a spade a spade or we just going to charge it all to the game. Because one can't be a prostitute and one can. He's a he sounds like a male gigolo, a very low grade, very very low bottom of the food chain gigolo. But nonetheless, that is a gigolo, ladies and gentlemen. That is a gigolo. Somewhere I've had several girls buy me cars within the last few years. And I but when I do it, when I say somebody bought me a car, I'm this, I ain't that, and da 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 da, da and that 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 that. You know what I'm saying, like ladies. They, y'all out here buying cars? Y'all out here buying cars? It's, it's. Come, come, email me if you bought this man a car. I've explained it off to my girlfriend, like where I got this other car from. Depending on how low their self-esteem is, it will depend on how easy it is to get them to not pay attention to my shortcomings. And the bigger that they are, the better it is for cheating at least. Because they'll accept whatever they get. Lizzo kind of fucked up the game with that because she's really empowered these, the body positivity movement. It made all these fat women just feel like they're like legit, like somebody special. So that's a growing problem that I ran into. It's confident fat women. I do enjoy fat women for cuddling but my favorite is like um if she's had like the gastric okay. bypass because I she'll wanted, have the self i want to let him keep going because I, I i started to think that this is a joke like first off big women have whatever whatever if you bigger you blah, 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 have that self-esteem have that confidence because F motherfuckers will be using bigger women bbws because they think that y'all don't have self-esteem i'm gonna need y'all to run this game right back on this bald-headed ass squid like i'm using lizzo as an example sir like how are you even getting women like how are you even how, you know what anyway i'm gonna let him continue because i feel like he struck a nerve when he started talking about big beautiful women because honey child like don't it's, it's some super sorry, conservative sorry. women and then I'll have conservative opinions and then when I'm with women that are like really on the far left like I personally don't care about things either way but I know how to tailor my opinions I will just say whatever I, I have to say to appeal to anybody their music their political ideologies sometimes it, you start to genuinely care about these people and you want to share your own opinions and your own worldviews. And I try not to do that because that messes up the finesse. For instance, I was with the girl and I was agreeing with a political opinion that she had, but it wasn't what I really felt. And it started to cause a rift between us. But I was able to recognize what I was doing and then go back to having the same opinions and thoughts as she had and it was able to put us back on the right track. I do lose sight of what I'm doing sometimes because sometimes there's some really bad people they're stealing stuff out of the self-checkout lines they're not taking good care of their children they're just really bad people and i have to just sit up and ignore these things because i've realized like i'm here for a reason i'm here to do something that was for the myself end of it. i don't know if there's a longer video i feel like that part got cut off um it it's hard it, it sucks that i can relate to some of the things that he's saying because he's such a loser but in the grand scheme of things, that last part really hit me because when I was sugaring full time and I didn't have a channel and, you know, and I was literally a legit sugar baby, which I consider myself a finesse baby, if you know that's about me. Um, oh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, y'all, because I know y'all be forgetting. Um, when I, I'm not gonna lie, like, 
that's kind of how I saw things like even if somebody was like a Republican conservative type and they had all these strong political views or if I would I, I kind of would just ignore it and I never really said my view on things you know what I'm saying my view on anything I never really expressed I mean you're you're there to listen and you're there for a bag to you know let's just let's just Call it, let's just let's just put it all on the table like I was there for a bag I'm not about to argue with you politics is such a touchy subject so I always try to stay away from that and when they brought up their opinions I would just agree with it when he said that it kind of does you know trigger you into you know when you start having a feeling in your gut like I really want to say this and you really can't so I agree with some of the things that he was saying but on all the grand scheme of things I can relate to him on a finesse aspect, but just not being like a complete bum. Like, I'm going to have my own house. I'm going to have my own money. I don't have to sit here and live these different multiple lifestyles because, like, honestly, the best thing about being a finesser is you don't really have... You you tell people up front what you about, and either they stick with it or they don't. And people are always going to find out. Like, that's another thing, too, like... Even if I would like say, oh yeah, my name is Chanel. If you really get to know me, I'm going to tell you my real name, okay? Um, if you really get to know me, we're, we're going to establish some type of relationship where I am eventually going to be able to talk to you about politics if I choose to do that, which I still wouldn't want to talk about it. Nevertheless, so I feel like his life has way more pretending than mine. And just he just seems rude. Um, and he, you know just the comment that he made about the plus size women and he had a baby on the way and he'd take he'd be like but who am I to judge <laughs> I mean he's not on trial I, I can't really say like tell me y'all opinions or whatever because I honestly I'm not gonna lie I, I could pretend like I'm shocked there was some things that he said that was shocking but for the majority of it like this is men in real life these these are the ones that y'all defending these are the ones that are in my comments talking about me and what I do and calling me a bum and and this is literally their life. They're literally living a similar life to me um, except for men do more hiding and sneaking and they're not even good at it. But he seems like, you know, he got it down packed to what he do and honey child, if you are one of his victims, please come forward. I would love to interview you. I would love to have you on my channel. I need to know why you bought him a car. But um, let me know if y'all want me to do more reaction videos. That was actually really fun. Um, I did take a little break. I won't lie to you guys, but I had to. I, I like taking my little breaks and my channel means everything to me, but so just like, just living my life. Just living life, okay? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below your thoughts and opinions. If you know this man in real life, let me tell me, tell me if this is fake. If this is fake, let me know. If there's more videos like this for Master Finesters, I would love to react to all of them, to be honest, because honey child, he dropped some tea. Wait, 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 before I go, let's talk about these cheap dates. I told y'all, you you're like, oh, well, just because he takes you to um Capitol Grill or just because he takes you to Fleming's or just because he takes you to Ocean Air or he takes you to Perry's, whatever, doesn't mean this, doesn't mean that. Ladies, it's about what's on the inside. No, literally, they're trying to cheapskate you to death. They're trying to $20 you to death. Like, if they want to take you to Chick-fil-A on the first date, knowing how accessible Chick-fil-A is, knowing how many points we got on the Chick-fil-A app, because y'all know, y'all know everybody eating Chick-fil-A every day, okay? Not me, my little brother loves Chick-fil-A and we run it, we run them points. Up. I can't lie to you. We get free food all the time. So knowing that Chick-fil-A is so accessible to people like that, that somebody would want to take you there on the first day and then walk on the beach. You know what? Tell the truth and I'm ashamed of the devil. At the end of the day, I gotta go, you guys. I think I'm pretty much out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, codename Chanel. And I'm out. And I'm out.